Uh, hi, in this video, we will see command line arguments in Java. So what do you mean by command line arguments? So the Java program arguments passed at launching the Java program are called command line arguments. Means the program arguments passed at launching the Java program are called command line arguments. Means you want to pass some arguments that you are not passing from your program. You are passing while you're executing your program. So that is called command line arguments. These are from where you pass from the command line, right? So command prompt. So because of that, these are command line arguments, okay? A Java program can be launched either from console or from an editor. A Java program can be launched either from console or from an editor. To launch a program, we have to use Java class name command from the command prompt to system console. While launching the program, we can pass additional arguments. So normally we can, where you can execute your program from the command prompt, or if you are using Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA, then from there also you can use. There also you can set command line arguments from the IDE itself that we will see if possible in other video, but here we will use only command prompt. So while, uh, while executing program, how will you do? java class name you will execute apart from that you can pass some additional arguments okay that we will see with an example so command line arguments can be used to specify configuration information while launching the application sometimes in the real time if you want to put some configuration information that you can pass along with your program execution with from the command line arguments there is no restriction on the maximum number of arguments, we can specify any number of arguments. So while executing your program, you can put, means you can provide your command line arguments. For that, there is no restriction. You can pass how many parameters you want to pass. Arguments are passed as strings, but whatever you pass from the command line, everything can be considered as strings. Passed arguments are retrieved as the string array in the main method argument. So if you pass from the command line from where the program will get, okay, how it will receive that information, how it will understand, right? The main method, in the main method, you will write a string aux, right? From there, it will get that information, whatever you pass from the command line. So need to convert the string arguments to required arguments in the program, okay? So everything is in the form of string, but I need integer. So we have already seen typecasting. So with the help of that concept, we will convert string to our required argument, okay? So we'll go to Visual Studio Code and we'll try to write some program and we'll execute, okay? So here, what I'll do, I will pass I have string first name, okay? String last name. And I want to print my full name. So system dot out dot print delay. Full name, okay, how it will be? What I'll do? First name, I will concatenate with the space then I can see the diff space between my first name and last name. Okay. This is how I want to print. But from I want to put some first name and last name, right? So I can give some what you say. F name. L name. Some dummy data I'm giving. So let me execute this first to understand now better. Java, it will print, cannot point in, sorry, I need to put in string rate. You see that F name and L name, okay? But this information I want to pass from my command prompt while I, while my, I executing program. 
Okay. So we'll see two ways. CLS, Java C, command line arguments demo dot Java. So no errors, nothing. What happened? Variable first. Okay. We need to initialize. Actually, we need to provide that information, right? So simply you cannot give. So that is where these command line arguments. So if you provide command line arguments, from where it will take? Okay. So let me annotate this. So you providing some arguments from command line. But how this program will get that information? Okay. So with the help of this string ox, right? With the help of this, everything can be stored in this ox. Okay, if you provide from the command line. So because of that, this is the use of to get the command line arguments. So this is an array. Right? This is an array. But from the array, how you will get that information? We already saw what is array, how to read the means, get the values from the array. So it will be stored in the form of like index, right? So start from the 0, 1, 2, 3, something like that. Right. So ox of 0 is my first element. Ox of 1 is my second element, something like that. So how many elements you pass from the command line arguments, that many uh, elements you need to take. Okay, this is how you can pass here. Okay, here. So, now we'll take, let me clear this. So, normally array means, so, sorry, int array is equals to you will put something like this, one comma, two comma, three comma, four, something like this. And if you if you want to print, okay? If you want to print, how you will print? You will use the A of zero, right? And the same way, A of one, okay? Then A of zero means first value, A of one means second value, right? So let me comment for some time. So to make you understand, I'm taking this example. If you execute this now, Java command line arguments demo. So one to it is printing, right? So this is an integer array. So from the array, how many values you pass here that can be accessed using this index. The same way, whatever arguments you give, that will be stored something like this means string args one second. So how it will work? String args is equals to so whatever the values you pass from the command line, right? Those will be stored in this. Okay. So let me let me put like this. So we'll see. Okay, now what, what could be the first name? If it is my first parameter, so then I can put box of zero. Okay. In the same way, I can put is equal to box of one. Right. That's how you will do. So if I execute this now, so no errors you will get. It will compile, no problem. But if you execute this, you see that index zero out of bounds, actually means there is no values, means th there are no values. I do not pass any values. You, you should have int i is equals one, two, three, four. That's how nothing is there, right? If you, if you try to execute, means get the value which is not there, you will get index out of bounds exception that we saw in our arrays. So because of that, you need to pass these parameters arguments from the command line. Now we will see how you'll pass, okay? Let me clear this. Let me compile again one more time. 
Now, after this Java command line arguments, it will execute, right? After that, put a space and you pass the parameters. First name is Krishna, last name is Sakinala. This is how you can pass. So what happens here? This one will be taken as first argument. This will be taken as second argument. And this is args of zero. And this is args of one. So these values replaced here, right? So if that is the case, then how it will be? The output we will see now. Let me clear this. So if you hit enter, you see that full name is equals to full name Krishna Sakinala. Right, that is what we did. So args zero is replacing, is assigning this first name. Args one is assigning to last name and I'm printing those values. Right, this is how command line arguments will work. Okay, so this is very similar to so I can say sorry and you will pass the same thing. Okay, this time I will not pass. I will recompile something is expecting here. Sorry, comma. There should be comma between these values, right? So if you compile, so we already used this ax. So I'll put simply a, 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 okay. You see that compile. And this time I will not provide the command line arguments. I directly provide that information where here itself, Krishna Sakinala. So I'm printing full name. Krishna Sakinal. So internally, it will work like this. So the moment when you provide command line arguments, then those comes here and it will form something like this. Okay. So let me change this to back. Right. We understand, right? So this is how it will internally works. That will form something like this. Now what happens? Sometimes I want to pass. Um, integer values, right? We have seen everything will, will be in the form of string. So because of that directly, I'm, I'm getting the value ox of zero, I'm getting string, I'm storing in string. But what about if it is integer? So string, sorry, int a is equals to ox of two, right? Ox of two. And int b is equals to ox of three. Okay, so int c is equals to a plus b. And now system dot out dot println, I will provide what sum of a and b. Okay. Sum of a and b, what is that? C. So now I want to pass this information also from arguments, right? So let me try that. So we can directly do, do with. Uh, this one. So no need to compile and execute all these things. Whatever we do with the single command, right? Java. And this after this, the first two arguments are what? Krishna Sakinala and 10, 20. Four parameters we are passing. And the order will be same order. Ax of zero. This will take zero index. This is first index. This is second index. This is third index. So because of that, first arc, second arc is strings, Krishna Sakinala. And the third and fourth are a, b integers. So the same way I'm passing here. So let me execute and see the, observe, uh, just observe what, hap what is happening. You see that string cannot be converted to int. So by default, everything comes in the form of string, but I'm trying to string, I'm trying to store string in a means assigning string to integer. So it will not possible. So for that, we have seen type casting, right? So how we will do integer dot value of ox2 means string I'm converting into integer. So the same way integer dot value of 
this was also converting. So the moment when I get the string, I'm converting into integer and I'm assigning to integer. So this time it has to execute without any issues. Let me execute the same thing. Integer dot, I cannot find symbol. Did any mistake? Sorry, there is a typo. It should be small v. Okay. So it would be small v. If you execute, you see that full name Krishna Sakinala, sum of a and b is 30. 10 plus 20, 30. If you try to execute the same thing with uh, some other values, 25 and 35. 35 and execute. This time it will be 60. Yeah, 60. First one is same thing. So this is how you'll pass the command line arguments from the command prompt while executing your program. And everything will be stored in the args in the form of string. If it is string, directly you can use with the index and like I say, you can assign to string. If it is other value, other than string, and you need to convert into respective data type. I want integer. So because of that integer dot value, if it is Boolean, Boolean dot value of something like that, you need to pass this as the, how the sequence you have given in the same way and you can use. This is called command line arguments in Java, okay? So what could be the possible interview questions here? So what is the use of command? Sorry. So what could be the possible interview questions here? So I copy pasted those, so I did not change. So what is the use of command line arguments in Java? Then how to pass other type of arguments apart from string? Because we can directly pass, but in the program, you need to convert into respective data type. Right, that is what we have seen. So this is all about command line arguments in Java. That's all in this video. Thank you.